What the study found is that the combination of pembrolizumab with platinum and pemetrexid, two standard chemotherapy agents that are used together, um, was superior in terms of response keeping people alive without progression of their cancer and improving the overall survival of patients with metastatic lung cancer compared to chemotherapy alone. And the differences were not small. Non-small cell lung cancer is actually the leading cause of cancer death in the world. Even though it's not the most common cancer, it's the leading cause of cancer death because we have not done a great job in the past of having treatments that can effectively catch it early to cure it or control it when it is advanced. Chemotherapy doesn't do very much for non-small cell lung cancer patients. It provides some very modest survival benefit that can be measured in months and not years. We have seen that immunotherapy drugs have significantly improved outcomes in the second line setting once patients have had initial therapy for their metastatic disease. So part of the reason the study was done was to try to say, well, if we move immunotherapy earlier in the course of a patient's illness, can we do more for them? And the flip side is actually to say, we know that immunotherapy or pembrolizumab, PD-1 inhibition, can be very helpful for a small group of patients who have high PD-L1 expression. What about the other 75 to 80% of patients? Are there other things that can boost the chances for a good immune response um, against the tumor beyond just pembrolizumab alone? And there are many, many studies actually looking at that question. But one obvious one is to, is to actually as assess whether chemotherapy could boost the potential for immunotherapy to be effective in more patients. Both of those were reasons that combining immunotherapy or PD-1 inhibitor, in this case pembrolizumab, with standard chemotherapy was of great interest to people treating and researching lung cancer. What this study and maybe some of these other studies do is give us much more options to treat patients for the future. And I think there will be no patient in the future who will get chemotherapy alone as a standard of care any longer.